Hi, I'm Dr. Megan Davis, and I would like to illustrate how to complete the fecal occult blood or poop test. This test can detect colon cancer early when it is curable. If you are a man or woman over age 50 and under age 74, and if you do not have an immediate family member with colon cancer, then you should get the poop test. To do this test, you need a kit from your doctor, and then you need to collect some of your poop when you're at home and you mail it into the lab. The first step is to plan for the kit. Three days before the test and during the test, do not eat any citrus fruit or juice. This includes vitamin C supplements. You will be testing three different poop specimens on three different days. You will be collecting two samples from each of these three poop specimens. If it takes over 10 days to do this, the kit won't be analyzed, so try to complete it all within 10 days. Some people find it helpful to use a calendar. You can mark the first day you took the sample to make sure you get all the samples taken before 10 days are up. So let's get going. Here's exactly how to do the kit. Unpack the kit and you will find the test, three sticks, two envelopes, the instructions, and a lab requisition. Before you start, please make sure the front of the kit is labeled correctly. It has to have your name and date of birth. The lab will not examine kits that aren't labeled properly, and you won't want to go through all of this for nothing. When writing your name, please make sure it's written exactly the same way as it is printed on the requisition that came with the kit. Write the name and date on your first sample. Flush the toilet bowl to make sure it is clean. Do not use toilets with bowl cleaners. The water should be clear, not blue. Use a disposal paper plate pie pan, or line the toilet bowl with paper towel. Use the wooden stick to scoop a tiny amount of the poop from the surface of the poop. You only need a thin smear that fits within the test area. More is not any more accurate, it's just messier. The screen will absorb any blood if there is any. Smear this inside test flap area one. Use the same scoop to scoop a second poop sample from the surface of a different part of your poop and smear it inside test flap area two. Close the flap and put the card in the foil-lined envelope and keep it at room temperature. Throw out the stick and the disposable container, flush the toilet, and you're done. The first of three samples. Repeat this for two more days, making sure you write the name and date on your sample. Complete this within a 10-day time frame. It doesn't have to be days in a row, it just has to be within the 10-day period. Some people wonder, why is this test so complicated? Why so many samples? Here's the answer. The test is for blood that is not visible to the naked eye, or occult blood. The blood comes from the large polyps or from the colon cancers that are on the wall of your colon. As the colon pushes the poop out, the poop scrapes along the wall of the colon and picks up the blood from the cancer. But the colon changes shape all the time while it's working. So doing three sample days, each with a bit of poop from two different spots, increases the chances that we will find this invisible blood. Here's a story from Ernie. When Ernie did his first sample, his golf buddies told him to take three samples from the same poop just to get it over with. And the first time, that's what he did, and it came back negative or normal. The second time, he decided to follow the instructions exactly. And he took his sample from three different days, and it came back showing that something was wrong. And he was stunned, so his message is, you only cheat yourself if you don't do it right. After the third sample is collected, place the test card inside the foil-lined envelope, Put this smaller envelope and the requisition form into the larger envelope, seal it tightly, and mail it off. The postage is paid. Your family or doctor will get the results, and you will also receive a letter from the Colon Cancer Check Program. If the poop test is positive, please see your primary care provider to arrange a colonoscopy. Let's summarize who should get the poop test. If you are between the ages of 50 and 74 and you do not have a family history, so parents, brother, or sister with colorectal cancer, get screened with the poop test or the fecal occult blood test. If you do have a family history of colorectal cancer, please let your primary care provider know as you will need a different test called a colonoscopy instead of the poop test. Make sure you get screened for cancer and thanks for listening.